Welcome. All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of FM20 and the Palermo Problem. Uh, last episode, my friends, you'll find that linked above uh, right now. Do feel free to go check that out. Go get caught up before you crack on with today's episode. Uh, now, today's episode is going to be a mixture of very happy and very sad. Um, sadness because I've got some people that are leaving the club to share with you, and uh, it's all come about in disastrous fashion uh, for me. We could be very happy, though, because um, we have another cup game to play today. Potentially, uh, if we get through it, we'll book our place in the semi-final, and also, we can tie up the league title in today's episode. We're actually changing this from a two-game to a free game episode uh, to see if we can make that happen. So my friends, let's get on with another huge episode. So first things first, I need to tackle some transfer dealings uh, before we move on. Now you will remember uh, at the end of last episode we were still in the January transfer window and I had some bits and bobs that I needed to do. Now Menino um, left the club, he's basically gone to Atlanta and uh, he was a player that we signed at the beginning of the season. He was here on a sort of non-contract. He's left the football club, so we needed to replace him. We did that. We bought in uh, Armino uh, on loan for the remainder of the season. He's a pretty well-rounded player. He's going to probably play second fiddle to Gravola at uh, left back. We just needed a body in there. Um, but where the true sadness, where the transfers is concerned, uh, comes from, ladies and gents, is uh, that of the fact that we're going to be losing some players... Um, on free transfers. Now, they're big names, and I'm absolutely gutted to lose each and every one of them um, because they would have been massive, massive players for us in Serie C. But I tried to offer them contracts, and they just weren't interested. Now, Martinelli has been an absolute staple in the team all season long, and I tried to offer him a contract. He wanted sort of about £10,000 a week. We just cannot offer wages to that level. He's going to be joining Pescara on a free transfer. The thing is, if you look Look at this. He's a good player for most Sierra R teams. And so it's unbelievable, really, that we even had him down here in Sierra D. We wish him well. He really is our best player, um, attributes-wise and on the pitch-wise as well. He's just been a phenomenal player. And he is going to be a very hard player to replace next season. I tried my hardest to try and get him to sign a new contract, but the board just wouldn't offer me the money I needed to tie him up. The other one is that of Lancini, who has been a bit of a legend for us this season at the back as well. He wanted about £5,500 a week. The board tried to negotiate a deal with him, he did. He weren't interested either. He's going to be uh, joining Cremonese, Crem uh, and uh, yeah, I'm absolutely gutted to lose him. But again, if we're looking at his um, his uh, coach report, a good player for most Serie B teams. So it is amazing that we even had a player of this quality at the club as well. Those two, I'm absolutely devastated about to lose and they're going to be two players that are going to be very difficult to replace going into next season uh, Juan Maury has left the club as well he's going on a free to Tigra not too unhappy about him leaving because he's probably Serie C level and Santana's leaving as well he was transfer listed not too much of a problem there um, but yeah they're all leaving on free transfers it's gutting that I couldn't make any money on these it's gutting we couldn't keep them at the football club but we wish them well we're now come to the fixture screen now, uh, my friends and we've got to get caught up on what's happened between last episode and uh, this one. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to apologise if I cough, if I splutter. I'm still suffering with my throat and this virus uh, to some degree, but well enough to be cracking on with a bit of football manager action. Uh, you'll see that we got it started, the games between last episode and this one, uh, with a 3 0. And three of the four games that we played ended in 3 0 as well. So San uh, Tommaso, we beat them for three goals to deal. It was Martinelli from the penalty spot, Lacera and Cristiano with the goals in the game. Really, really good win for us. Then on the road, I know. 3-0 victory, Lacera, Cristiano, Martinelli, that threesome scoring the goals again, and Martinelli from the spot again, we then come up against uh, Corigliano, and uh, we won this one by three goals to nil, Martinelli from the penalty spot again, but Endia and Lacera with the goals in this one, and then a really, really difficult game, um, they were, they're struggling in the league, uh, are our opposition here, but uh, really, really put up a fight, we had to rotate the team as well because of the cup game, uh, but San Domenico with the goal, a 1-0 victory, and I think we are now 10 or 11 games in a row in the league with 
with a win and we are absolutely flying it's put us in a fantastic position which you're going to see very very shortly now in today's episode we're going to be playing uh, games against uh, Castro Valari in the cup hopefully we can get through them uh, to book ourselves a semi-final place and then we're going to be playing um Marina di Ragusa and uh, that same team we're playing in the cup in the league and hopefully two wins from those two games will secure us the Serie D title and this is why ladies and gents because we are 22 points clear at the top of the table with I believe 27 points available still to take I, I believe that's what it is so if you do the math we can win it in today's episode which would be absolutely fantastic because then it means that I could absolutely steamroll probably the rest of the season, uh, providing the semi-final and uh, the potential final, should we get to both of those, uh, later on in the season. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to have to really crack on, really get our nut down in today's episode and hope for those wins. And so here we go, ladies and gents. This is the team that we're going to go with in this very, very important uh, quarter-final uh, in the cup. Uh, we're going to go with Pelagotti in goal, Acardi Cravello at fullback, Lucio and Lancini are going to play centre back together, Ambro Martinelli are going to play in the midfield, Lacera in Dia on the wings, Felici through the middle in the cam position, and Cristiano up top. He's been firing a fair amount of goals for us recently. I'm hoping he can bang some more in today's game. Let's just crack on with this one. We've got a lot to do in today's episode, so let's do it. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this very important quarter final final is about to get kicked off now usually we would play out the entirety of this game uh, at the quarterfinal stage but because we're going to do a free game episode i'm going to decide to just do this in bits and bobs in the chunks as we usually do there was an early free kick there saved by their goalkeeper and they've kicked long and that's going to be ambro bringing the ball out for us rolls that into lacero he's got the pace can he go past his man he can it's a great ball and then deer at the back post makes it one nil early doors get in there corner kick martinelli with it to the back post and cristiano puts us 2-0 up we are in the driving seat surely now right goal kick pelagotti rolls it out to lucio he's going to come forward with the football into a cardi comes wide to lacera come on lacera use that pace you've been excellent all season long Really breakout star for us, Lacera. That's a beautiful ball. And Dia makes it 3-0. And the goalkeepers had an absolute mare there. Well, at half-time, ladies and gents, at 3-0, we're pretty much into the semi-final. They're going to have to do something unbelievable in the second half. They're going to stand a chance, especially as we've had 11 shots to their one. Again, pure domination. All right, they're on the ball here. And Dia... Tried to nick it off him. Hasn't quite happened. And they've actually managed to come out with it. And uh, Buda now going to come forward. That's a great challenge, though, from the uh, midfielder there. Felici onto the ball into Endia. He's going to come back to Felici. There's a runner there. That's a beautiful overlap from Cravello. Can he get a ball into the box? He can. It's back to Felici. 4-0, ladies and gents. We're into the semi-final. There's no doubt about it. Right, we are going to make changes. I really want to look after the team. I'm going to leave Endia out there because he is on a hat-trick and we're going to bring Lacera off instead for San Domenico. Um, we are also going to bring Ambro off because he's only just come back uh, from an injury. We're going to bring Mendola on who's actually been playing very, very well in the centre midfield for us. Uh, yeah, we'll make those two changes for now. We've still got another substitution should we need to use it, but at 4-0 dominating. Well, since making the substitutions, ladies and gents, you can see that the time really has ticked on. Absolutely nothing has happened, but no surprise really. At 4-0, you just protect the win. We're through to the semi-final. Okay, my friends, so we now move back into league action, and this is a really important game. We really have to go into this one, take all three points, and uh, no messing about, basically, and then we can really go into the next game. Hopefully, at bare minimum, grab a draw, and we should still win the title this season. And we get that done in today's episode, and then we can really concentrate the last couple of episodes on the cup stuff, um, because obviously we are now through to the semi-final, and that will be coming to you next time around um <coughs> ladies and gentlemen so um 
Let's get to it, shall we? We're going to go with Pelagotti in goal, Akadi Cravella at four back, Lassidi Kraja at centre back, Mandola and Martinelli in the centre midfield, Lacera and, uh, and Dia on the wings, Felici in attacking midfield, and Cristiano up top. It's a pretty much the same team we played in the last game. Sensational stuff from them. A very strong bench. Let's do it. So here we go. We're lined up for this game, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I should bring to your attention, although I'm saying that the next two games could win us the title, should uh, second you know, and third fail to pick up points and we get the victory, I believe that we can actually win this league title in this game. So massive, massive fixture. Right, we're coming up to that 25-minute mark and... Uh, it's dominant where the statistics are concerned once again. No highlights, nothing really to bring you just yet. And as I say that, I might have even jinxed us because we do have a highlight now. It was their goalkeeper kicking it out, but possession surrendered to us. Nakadi with a good ball into Lacera. He's going to come back into Kraja, into Mendola now, into Felici. This is really good stuff from us. That's a lovely ball out wide to Lacera. There's no one in the box though, and he's been taken out. That is going to be a penalty, and it is going to be that man. And Martinelli from the spot. Is he going to give the fans a gift they'll never forget? No, he's not. He's missed from the penalty spot. That is unbelievable. He has not missed any from the spot this season. And the pressure's got to him. Right, goal kick to the opposition again. And they've gone the same way they went last time. Uh, ball over the top. That's good again from us, though. Great defending. Now, Mendola, beautiful ball into Cristiano. He's got a lot to do here, though, on himself. And he can't manage to squeeze it past the keeper. Forces a corner. Right, goal kick once again. It'd be interesting to see if they go that route. They did go that route. This time, though, passing was a bit better. They nearly forced their way through, but... The defence is there to handle again. Felici out wide to Endia. That's a beautiful ball to Lacera. Oh, it was offside anyway, but what a save from the keeper. Um, but it's them again from the goalkeeper position. They're trying to go very direct over the top. And for the first time, the defence has actually made a bit of a mistake. But that's good coverage from Endia out wide there. Cravello into Endia again, into Felici, into Martinelli. Endia, oh, beautiful football from the boys. Passing out from the back, really trying to create something. Cravello, Felici, Ball wide. That's great. Lacera just needs to run it. And oh, what a goal from Lamina and Dia. Volley from the edge of the box. And we are finally 1-0 up. 16 shots. Six on target to their two, none on target. 64% possession. We've dominated that first half. How on earth it is only 1-0 is beyond me. Martinelli, the poor sod, is not having the best of games either because of that penalty miss. So I really hope he can get back in it in the second half. Really unfortunate that. I really wanted him to leave the fans with a gift, but not to be. 45 minutes away, though, from another really important three points. Okay, nothing's happened in this second half. I literally have had nothing to report um, but I do think it's time to make some changes because uh, it's getting to that stage now and uh, we really need to protect this now I would love to bring Cristiano off and bring another striker on because he's not had the best of games but um, we basically need to try and work this so that I can actually make that happen um, so uh, we need to bring a youngster in in another position. So I believe we're going to bring Ambro in for Martinelli. Um, I think that's a good change to make. And then Cristiano for uh, for Zini. I think that's a good change to make. Couple of couple of substitutions. We freshened up the midfield. Both Martinelli and Cristiano weren't having the best games. 15 to go, ladies and gents, from a really big three points. Right, we are into added on time, uh, ladies and gents. I don't quite think a win here is actually going to secure the title because of results that have gone on elsewhere. We've got a free kick, though, very late on. Ambro stands over it. It was a decent free kick. And it's bobbling around, and eventually Cravello, the left-back, the hero, has put it in the back of the net. A great 2-0 win, ladies and gents. And that puts us in a lovely position going into the next game. Get in there. And so here we go, ladies and gents, into the last game of today's episode and a potential title decider. We come up against uh, Castro Valari, the team we've uh, beaten already um, to get through in the cup. Um, so, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see if we can repeat that in the league and uh, see if we can secure this league title today. The team we're going to attempt to do it with is Pelagotti in goal, Acardi Cravello at fullback, Kraja Lancini at centre-back, Ambro Martinelli in the centre mid 
midfield. Lacera and Dia on the wings. Belisi through the middle and Cristiano up top. Ladies and gents, let's do it. One more time, and let's try and secure that league title. So here we go, ladies and gents. We line up for this big match in Serie D, and hopefully we get the win that gets us the title. Right, another corner. Martinelli into Kraja, and it's 1-0 to Palermo. One step closer. That's half time, ladies and gents. A dominant display once again, but at only 1-0, it's still very squeaky on the bum. So we need to make sure we go out in this second half and secure this game. Right, throw in Lancini into Felici, who is going nowhere. Um, Cravello now into Lancini again. Comes inside to Ambro. That's a lovely pass from the centre back. India into Ambro. Into Felici. Oh, he shot. He had the power, just didn't have the precision. And we have a goal kick now. And that's made its way very, very easily uh, to their player. But well dealt with at the back once again. We've been very, very solid at the back uh, for big parts this season. We've had a couple of shaky moments, but this has been excellent. This is brilliant one-touch passing. Lacera, if he goes wide, there's a man there who could cross it in. Acardi now, back into Ambro, back to Acardi. Ball coming in, and it just can't be put away. Goal kick once again gone very long this time and oh the defender missed it but so glad that Kraja was there to cover to make sure that that wasn't punished uh, Pelagotti into Lancini into the midfield into Felici who's dropped real deep here to receive the ball Kraja now He's going to find that, that man, Ambro. He's going to come wide to Acardi, who's going to stretch his legs and run with the ball. Lacera's there if he needs him, and he does use him. Lacera, back to Acardi, back to Lacera. Can't be put in the box by him. It is put in the box, and there we have it. Danilo Ambro, and maybe the man that's just scored the goal that guarantees the title this season. Free kick, Martinelli on it. What a free kick. Cristiano's 14th goal of the season. Game, set, match. Title one. So, I think with the title being done and dusted, I think we can just make some substitutions. Uh, I think Felici will bring off uh, for Paretti, who can't really play in that role, but I know that Ambro sort of can. Um, so, we'll drop him back and we'll just play him as a centre midfielder. Ambro can uh, remain in there. And then, I believe the other one I want to do is uh, Lacera. We're going to bring him off, bring San Dominica on. A couple of changes. Freshen it up. Lovely job. Well, the time's running down on this one. We're going to enter injury time here in the second half. And we are going to clinch Serie D in this one. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The boys are celebrating with the manager. They lift the trophy. We were the heavy, heavy favourites at the beginning of the season. And it's so nice to see that we made it uh made sure we followed suit with that favorites tag uh wonderful stuff we'll just take a quick look at the manager getting his hand on his first piece of silverware in charge of palermo and next season he takes that we move on up to Syria C. So there you have it as a confirmation, ladies and gents. Palermo win Syria D, um, and we've done it in convincing fashion. We've still got a few games to go this season, and I'd still like to uh, go undefeated if possible, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, the board have set their initial budgets of £36,000 uh, for the wages, only 60000 in transfer budget, though. Um, we are going to really have to deal with loans and free signings again next season. There's just not the money in the lower divisions of Italy, unfortunately. Uh, Calendar leads Palermo to glory. Feel free to pause this at any time and really read it and take it in, ladies and gents. And uh, it's pleased the board that we've managed to win uh, Serie D. Uh, medals for Serie D win. All of these players are the players to receive a medal. I think you have to play a certain amount of football uh, to be able to get one. Uh, yeah, look, you have to play at least one match. Uh, Martinelli, brilliant once again in that game. We're just going to tell him that he's 
passing was a joy to behold because it absolutely was. We're going to miss him massively next year. 30 matches, one in a row. I think it's that run of form that has secured us this title. And so that brings us to the fixtures, ladies and gents. We have to talk about where we're going to pick this up next time around. Um, so obviously I'm going to play a couple of games and we'll be back for the semi-final of the Serie D Cup. Um, I think what we'll do with that episode is we'll just do a one-game episode. We'll do the semi-final in its entirety. And we're going to be coming up against uh, Sam Samorese, I believe that's how that's said. They're actually really struggling. They're 14th in their division, so they've done very well to get to this stage of the cup and I guess once that one's out of the way we'll just play the rest of the league campaign to the last one and then if we do make it into the final we'll do that as a double and then we'll finish up this season it's been a very easy season if you're looking at it look at all the greens it really has been very very simple but we kind of knew that was going to be the case we're head and shoulders above everybody else as far as stature reputation and quality of squad uh, but we still had to get the job done and we've done exactly that and just to confirm it by looking at the league table ladies and gents you can see Palermo are top 73 points with 23 points of our nearest competitor 23 wins four draws still no losses and I'd like it to look like that Come the end of the season. And if you want to make sure that we do it, if you want to find out more, make sure you follow the series and you come back, my friends, next time. And so there you have it, we're done and dusted for another episode and we've clinched the Serie D title, the first of many I hope where the series is concerned and this is our first promotion, we've still got though two more to go before we get back to the promised land of Serie A. We've done this one in convincing fashion but I do suspect that next season is going to be very, very difficult. But my friends, make sure you join me next time for the semi-final of the Serie D Cup, it promises to be a big one but if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button it's really appreciated by your boy and it's the best way to support the channel drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and do hit that bell notification button to never miss an upload but my friends we are going up we are champions but until next time you've been legends and i'll see you all later